Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Wendy Mayberry. Hey. <laughs> Let's talk about my vagina. Sorry. <laughs> it's really strange. Um, can we do that again? I'm teasing. All right. Um, there you go. I can curse, so now it's dirty. All right. Uh, I was going to talk to you guys. I've lost 105 pounds this year. That's exciting. Yeah. Thanks. That's cool. The weight of my driver's license still a lie. <laughs> Another five pounds before that's real. Um, I'm trying to break up with Lane Bryan. I'm kind of hate that bitch. Um, shit's so expensive and it really bothers me that that's the only place I can buy underwear. I was there the other day and all they had was underwear with the word juicy on the butt. Yeah, on hot chicks like that one, it's like juicy, right? But on my butt, it's like juicy. <laughs> But has a little bit of a smoker's cough. I don't... <laughs> Someone's been smoking my ass. That just okay. Anyway, anyway. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> did you guys know that they manufacture that underwear in Cambodia? Can y'all imagine the tiny little Asian women that work at a Lane Bryant factory in Cambodia? It's like oh. <laughs> They probably wonder what the hell they're making. <laughs> Some kind of messed up parachute. <laughs> Girl with death wish. <laughs> it's just awful. I grabbed my couple pairs of shame and I headed to the cash register. And I looked at the lady checking me out and I went, ha, ah, juicy. <laughs> at that point, nobody's gonna back out of the deal, right? And she looked at me and said, oh, don't worry there, dear. No one's gonna see your underwear anyway. <laughs> I wore that pair of underwear tonight, and I'll be right outside. Let's, let's prove that girl wrong, that's all I'm saying. The most embarrassing thing happened to me this year, I actually fell naked on my gynecologist. I don't think that was my fault. I think it was a safety miscommunication. Because she was all, scoot, 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 scoot. Scoot, 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 scoot. And there you are, right? Like butt hanging in the breeze, like da, 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 da. juicy, just vulnerable. Not good, right? And then she was like, "All right, we're done. You can sit up now." And I went, Whoa! "That was awesome. Buy me dinner." Yeah, you are not supposed to say that. It makes the copay really weird. <laughs> She keeps sending me these postcards, like, it's time for you to come back. I'm like, it's time for us to see other people. I don't do that anymore. I moved to Minnesota thinking I'd be coming home amongst my people, land of the puffy white folks. No, I missed that window. Apparently you guys fake bacon diet. Thanks so much. A couple centuries ago when big white women were in, sadly. So I haven't been dating a whole lot and I've been trying to figure out what's wrong with that. I'm trying to figure out how to increase my web traffic or the hits or somehow I'll drive more into the... Okay, whatever. Get laid more. There you go. Anyway, so I was reading in Cosmo and their suggestion was to bedazzle your hoo-ha. Have y'all heard of this madness? It's called bedazzling. It's when you put sparkles on your chicky parts. You know, like clitter, nothing. Yes, yeah. Yeah, to me, that's like overselling an already hot commodity, right? Because you, sir, you probably never looked at a pussy and said, not enough flair, can't go there. <laughs> Hell no, you haven't. That kid was raised right. High five him and keep it. Good job. That's right. To me, a sparkly vagina is the kind of hoo-ha that greets you the door going, hello, come on in, we've got a show. It's all so clean, so clean it glows, right? Yeah. My vagina? It's way more like, oh, I didn't know you were going to be here today. <laughs> Most people don't make it this far. <laughs> Do you want a song? Um, <clears throat> Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Come 
back tomorrow. I'm Winnie Neighbor. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night.